welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to design a simple tube welding clamp the main purpose of this clamp to hold the pipe or any kind of tube for the welding purpose it will hold the pipe with the help of this three uh, three bolts and you can weld any pipes any circular pipe or any tube i hope you like it so let's see how to make each and every part and assemble at the end Now here let's start the uh, first part of tube welding clamp. The first part is screw rod. So let's start here. Choose here top plane sketch. Now this is the our uh, main plane. Select here circle and draw a circle with origin point and choose the smart dimension. Assign it 10 millimeter. Isometric view and choose here extruded boss and uh, we need to keep the length 100 millimeter and isometric view see it go that's it we just uh, went to go down okay that's it now we want to make some here threads multi uh, screw threads we want to create so let's see how to do this first we need to create here a path so select this top face a sketch convert entity now this circle is already converted just go to feature and curves choose here helix and spiral now see this is the ongoing path for threads keep here height and pitch constant pitch height i'll choose 100 millimeter and pitch make 2 millimeter reverse direction because uh, we need to make this direction 90 degree clockwise that's fine so this is the thread path front plane is sketch normal now let's make the uh, thread profile so choose your corner rectangle and select this corner choose a smart dimension one millimeter one millimeter that's it exit now it's time to cut or make the profile so choose here swift cut now see the profile is selected here just select the path see you can see the preview select ok and it's calculating let's wait and see just hide this path that's it see this is our path threads so let's do other works select this top face sketch circle let's draw here a big circle you can rotate it via a mouse roll a scroller eighteen millimeter extrude extrude up to twenty millimeter that's fine it's hanging my computer I don't know choose here fillet keep 3 millimeter and select this two edges of face it's the same thing here okay that's it now comes down select this face a sketch circle and here draw two circles because we want to make two number of operations outer diameter keep 9 millimeter and inner one 6 millimeter ok select ex extruded boss here selected at the end contour and select the center one only this outer one we will do it in next operation 
फाइव मिलीमीटर ओके नाउ इट इज एंड पार्ट ऑफ नाउ अगेन चूज द सेम स्केच एक्सट्रूडेड कट एंड हियर अगेन सेलेक्ट क्लियर आउटर लाइन सी वी सेलेक्टेड जस्ट आउटर लाइन नथिंग मो एंड थ्री मिलीमीटर एंड हियर सेलेक्ट ऑफसेट फाइव मिलीमीटर नाउ यू कैन सी वाई वी ड्रॉन हियर ड्रॉन हियर टू सर्कल्स ओके नाउ लेट्स चूज हियर चैम्फो एंड ड्रॉप डाउन दिस मैनी वैन चूज चैम्फो पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड सेलेक्ट दिस टू एजेस सेलेक्ट हियर ओके so now this is the chamfer now we uh, we need to make hole for this screw uh, here we need we need to make a hole so to for the rotation purpose front plane a sketch let's draw first a center line draw from this point to this point circle and just find the center point of this line construction line okay make diameter 8 mm that's fine select extruded cut and here do one thing select here end condition through all both so it will cut in both direction okay so this is the our screw rod now let's do one thing let's assign some material to this select this part one go to appearance and scene decal appearance here you will see the metal if you click the metal you will see a uh, initial metal parts so i'll choose chrome plate that's it see how it looks it looks beautiful chrome material guys actually uh, i i am using a professional graphics card that's why this material looks real if you have geforce or any other graphics card you will not get this kind of real view so you have to change your graphics card if you like to make a, such a real view let's save this screw go to desktop and create one folder tube welding clamp this is the tube welding clamp and the first part is screw rod save now let's see what other parts are here now here next part is screw handle so let's start choose your right plane sketch circle now let's start with origin point now go back to this sketch actually we want to create some circle exit draw a horizontal line make sure it's horizontal now let's try here three point arc and connect both the point exit choose center line draw vertical center line click right uh, click on this line make vertical that's fine now create one relation select both the lines arc and line tangent relation that's fine now it's time to define some relation 60 mm 10 mm 4 mm 5 mm and keep this one radius 12 mm so this is your main requirement let's go to feature select here revolve boss base now select this bottom line as a axis of revolution see here 
you can see the preview here okay that's it now let's make it mirror so we will get the full rod choose mirror here select front plane and here select this body you can see the preview okay that's it fill it 0.2 millimeter and I'll choose this face and this face so both the edges will be selected here okay now again go to appearance metal chrome plate that's it so this is the rod screw rod hand or you can say handle screw handle let's save this one part number two a screw handle even uh, if you will uh, this dark color is quite better open this steel satin finish steel oh uh, this one quite better because uh, we can easily see this its visibility S save now let's see the other parts here the next part is nut housing let's start choose here front plane a sketch corner rectangle and make sure it is passes through origin do one thing select this origin point and this line and create relation midpoint that's it Uh, let's choose center point arc and draw here half circle that's it drag it and that's it now the center point in on this line choose this line for construction purpose circle draw here two circles at both the end okay now let's define it six millimeter six millimeter forty millimeter and keep the radius ten millimeter that's the perfect shape extrude keep end condition mid plane and keep the thickness 30 millimeter okay that's fine select off face sketch normal now here we want to make some cutouts so draw one center line exit choose your line circle and draw here one circle center line to find out this midpoint and this point exit select this line make horizontal now it is in center position select this full geometry mirror entity mirror against this vertical line okay let's define it 20 millimeter eight millimeter and let's make the gap ten millimeter that's fine this is what we required even you can define this one also so now the geometry is fully defined select extruded cut keep end condition through all okay that's it 
now here we want to create some thread so select back surface a sketch select this circle convert entities go to feature curves helix and spiral pitch and height keep height 30 mm pitch two numbers 2 mm 90 degree clockwise this is perfectly suits our geometry okay now here we need to create the uh, profile path a uh, profile actually so let's choose front plane a sketch normal and uh, choose here hidden line visible now here we need to create a rectangle let's define it 1 mm height and length width both 1 mm that's it exit now let's try here swift cut see the profile selected just select this path you can see the preview select okay i just hide this helix hide now see this is our thread see so this is our part ready let's make some fillet select both side select this face this face uh, select all the faces so that every edge should be converted with a fillet okay that's it now let's define some color now this time just go to solid and you'll find yellow see this this looking very vibrant and uh, very good color uh, good appearance good looking so let's save this part number 3 not housing let's see the other part now here let's make next part third uh, fourth number part number 4 here hand support so let's start Cho choose here front plane sketch now here we will make our sketch so select here line start with line okay now come back this point and it will automatically convert into a circle many people ask me how we will make this arc so just uh, go back to the point and you will convert it a line into so circle then up to here exit first select this line and arc make relation tangent that's fine select this line make relation horizontal that's fine choose the center one make for construction now let's define it smart dimension 45 mm 25 mm 20 mm keep radius 8 mm okay select circle and draw one circle here let's keep the diameter 6 mm okay now choose here mirror entity select all the parts mirror against this construction line you can see the preview here okay that's fine go to feature select extruded boss and we want to extrude up to 30 mm keep end condition here mid plane so it it helps a lot during other operation okay that's it now select back surface sketch normal now here we want to make some cutouts so let me draw one center line horizontal and vertical center line 
circle let's draw here a circle now then choose corner rectangle right click select now uh, we will make one thing select these two points and center line and here you will make relation symmetric that's fine now let's define keep diameter 12 mm height 20 mm and the distance from circle keep 18 mm and this outer dimension we want to cut this all portion so anything 60 mm make sure it is bigger than this body mirror entities select this full rectangle and mirror against this vertical line fine select here extruded cut and here select selected contour this one unchecked ah uh, sorry this was checked already uncheck this one now see we are going to cut only rectangle not this circle because circle we we don't want to cut full so through all now this rectangle only going to cut okay that's it now again choose the same sketch extruded cut again choose contour select this circle only that's it select here through all and here choose offset 5 mm make reverse that's it because here we want to keep 5 mm gap between this okay now let's see see now it's time to make some fillet and chamfer 30 mm and let's choose this one okay that's fine 0.5 mm and select this corner and here you will see the option right loop this looks better uh, right face 360 degree Uh, this one better visual right face 360 edges you will see in the center i hope you you will see this small pop up okay now see it selected the whole thing you can just click this one and remove this one because we want make little bigger select okay that's fine chamfer now here we will make some cham for 1 degree and choose this inside face okay a sketch select circle and draw here a circle now let's keep 4 mm and distance from origin point make sure 13 mm okay now do one thing make relation set circle center and origin point make vertical that's fine select here extruded cut and keep end condition through all okay see now we need here a big chamfer so chamfer 3 mm and select this inside face clear and select edge and select opposite edge okay that's fine now here we will extend one base so let's choose front plane sketch select here circle and just draw a circle below the origin point choose the smart dimension keep diameter 16 mm and distance from origin point keep 5 mm okay now make one relation 
vertical that's fine choose here line exit now let's define this line we will use this line in other option in other process select here extruded boss Forty millimeter front side, and uh, direction two keep twenty millimeter. That's fine. See here. Now, choose the same sketch. Select extruded cut, and select this line. here choose reverse direction okay i think clear now select this bottom part okay that's it now let's make some chamfer we will make it millimeter okay if uh, this one is fillet now this is the chamfer 1 millimeter let's choose this point corner and select this face okay now this is the chamfer so this is the our hand not almost ready now here we want to fix some hole we want to make some hole for bolts so do one thing select this face take the position normal choose here hole wizard now here we want to create some tap hole so select here hole choose standard is any standard you can choose it tap drill m6 let's choose through all go to position and select or do one thing set choose center line draw one center line exit let's define this center line 8 mm now choose this star point and place here press escape key now see press okay now here we created some tapped hole uh let's go to option documents property and uh, choose detailing shaded cosmetic thread okay uh, i think no need here this is only a hole tapped hole that's fine uh let's uh, make some color this is what we want yellow okay now so this is the hand support let's save this part desktop and uh, find out your file tube welding make part number 4 hand support Uh, let's see what other parts are here now here the next part is very important part of tube welding clamp hand clamp left there are two hand clamp left and right we will create one and then we will mirror for the right one so first we will create left one so let's start we will create first the main geometry of main clamp so choose here front plane sketch center line exit first let's define this one 150 mm
20 degree okay choose here circle and here define two circles and here also draw one more circle in between this line now let's define uh, outer one keep 16 millimeter and inner one 6 millimeter now the same way make it 15 millimeter and uh, let's define the, the gap 30 millimeter fine choose here line draw a line exit make sure it is tangent with this line now let's define this angle 10 degree okay now select the distance or you can say length of this line 40 millimeter that's fine choose mirror entity select this clear this line we want to mirror against this this line okay that's fine here we created the mirror line now let's extend this one choose your line that's fine go to this one and it will automatically convert into circle or into arc now go up to here again convert it into an arc we want to create here one arc exit i'll choose this one center point arc up to this point exit I'll keep this distance 10 millimeter okay close this uh, okay do one thing let's make one line from here draw a parallel line to this line convert it into an arc connect with this exit let's try the relation between these two tangent oh that's fine this is what we want actually a tangent relation between these two uh, okay select these two lines make relation parallel that's fine tangent draw one line exit select this line and this line make relation tangent 10 millimeter again choose center line the same way we have to do it here exit now select this two lines tangent relation A smart dimension and define it 10 millimeter that's fine center line now we will connect it exit now it's time to make the dimension 70 75 millimeter that's fine now choose here a straight slot or choose center straight slot find out the center point that's it that's fine now let's define this gap keep 45 degree keep radius 3 millimeter okay that's the our demand choose circle 
here draw a 16 diameter circle keep the diameter 16 millimeter Uh, let's check what else balance here I think uh, there is relation now here a smart dimension make make degree 170 degree angle that's fine and uh, this sorry 18 degree bigger okay now choose here center line and comes here draw a horizontal line exit circle now choose the smart dimension and define it 15 millimeter make sure the line is horizontal and diameter keep 18 millimeter now you can see your geometry is fully defined here this line and both the arcs tangent here no need to keep tangent it's our geometry see our geometry is fully defined i hope you note down all the dimensions be carefully note down all the dimension it is little not tricky but it's there is too much dimension so you may you might be confused okay now let's select extruded boss now here select contour select this circle this one select this circle also now leave this one this and here also leave this one choose this circle also and here leave this full circle extrude up to 4 millimeter and uh, we want little offset so choose here offset keep 6 millimeter now see the gap okay that's it now let's mirror it choose front plane mirror and uh, select this body unmerged solid bodies okay that's it now again choose this circle extruded boss and here select this circle this full circle we want to extrude first make 40 millimeter forward direction and backward direction keep 20 millimeter see okay that's fine now again choose the same circle extruded boss base now select this circle and this circle keep mid plane 18 millimeter make sure it covers uh, it covers the full geometry this is the relation between these two bodies or support okay now see now here we want to cut it so select this face this sketch line connect from here to this line exit center point and uh, draw a center line exit now let's define this line 45 degree Thirteen millimeter. Uh, okay, this portion we need to cut it. And uh, okay, select this circle, convert entity. Now this one, 
extruded cut select this face we want to cut make inside 40 millimeter okay that's fine choose fillet 0.5 millimeter and select any one age and you will see here multiple number of pop-ups internal feature 28 edges 34 edges this 34 edges it seems better it will select your all the edges let's try th this age also here also choose 34 edges now here also it selected all the edges okay chamfer keep 1 millimeter and 45 degree select this face and this face okay that's fine uh, here we want to fill the gap around the possible one millimeter no select one edge oh that's fine is uh, not much needed now select this face take normal position now here we want to make bolt hole or tapped hole so select this face hole wizard choose here hole ISO ta tab drill may we want to make a tab drill M6 throughout position just draw here choose center line connect from here to midline exit now select this line horizontal and choose smart dimension 8 millimeter select here ok now here the tapped hole is created so this is the our hand clamp see yellow left hand clamp so let's save this part number tube welding clamp part number 5 left hand clamp now here we will make the right hand climb with the help of left hand climb so it's very simple first select any plane which is suitable for mirror see we choose right plane because this is the perpendicular and suitable for this and we want to mirror this part so how we will do just go to insert and here you will find mirror part select mirror part once you choose mirror part it will ask you there are many options just do one thing click link see just check the link break link to original part this is the original part we don't need to select this any model here or plane select ok now you can see its mirror just simply its mirror so this is your right hand clamp so let's save this part part number 6 right hand clamp now let's see what other parts are balanced now here let's start the assembly of tube welding clamp choose new assembly ok select browse now we will bring our first part nut housing 
open now do one thing here select origin point view origin point okay now select origin point just go to origin and find okay that's fine now you can see it is fixed with the plane existing plane and check now let's browse over other parts uh let's bring both left and right this is i think left hand side this is right hand side choose mat select this hole and this hole make relation concentric okay now let's choose for this also concentric relation okay now go to advanced mat choose width select this two faces of inside this two faces of outside you can see it it's going to adjust from the inside select okay now this the same thing we will do it here V width this two faces we selected now select this two faces okay that's fine now see it's fixed here let's browse over third part hand support okay okay this this is the perfect it should be looks like this see all the face should be in symmetric way now first select this plane front plane and uh, control key main front plane make choose here mat select here relation coincident okay now select this face and this face make relation tangent flip that's fine okay now the same here we will do select this face and this flip tangent relation okay okay that's fine now let's see how it works exactly because it's going to rotate both the parts in sim it is not going to similar because uh okay see it's uh, uh let's we will see we will sort out this one insert the third part A screw rod choose here mat select this circular face and this circular face make relation concentric okay select this circular face and this face make relation now cancel it clear select this inside face and this bottom face coincident bottom face it's coincident fine now we need to create just show temporary axis now this is the temporary axis for this rod and this is the temporary axis for this hole so press control key and select this both the temporary axis we selected choose here mat make relation coincident okay 
okay that's fine now it is in center position see uncheck temporary axis mat uh, let's uh, add some one more part then we will uh, insert the last component screw handle mat concentric relation okay now select this rod and this rod plane choose one plane that's front plane front plane of this rod mat and select this face and here choose gap distance let's make 80 mm okay okay now we want to create some thread relation so hide this part mat go to mechanical mat choose here a screw relation select this face now open this one and uh, right click show part now select this thread and now here the selected revolution per mm 1 mm if it revolve one turn it will move 1 mm so okay that's uh, fine okay okay now let's try see it's rotating so we created here a screw thread a screw relation between this nut and rod see now it's time to add some nut bolts here to perfect now here let's add some nut bolt so just go to design library now select here toolbox now it will ask you add in now so select add in now now see this is the our main window so nc metric we will choose am now just go to nuts uh, first we need to make bolt bearing bolts and screw okay we will choose heavy hexagon hexagon head heavy hexagon bolt 18 by this is the better for us just drag this one up to just see you can change here the size actually we need 12 point m6 we need actually it is minimum 12 so cancel this one again go to here heavy hexagon flange 18.23.9 Uh, okay let's uh, this uh, hexagon flange screw now that's fine change here m6 keep the length 35 mm you can see you can see the length here and that's perfectly fit in our body a uh, thread 18 that's uh, fine choose schematic you can see the threads select here okay now it will ask you you need more so select this hole and this face fine select this face okay now let's choose mat make relation concentric okay where exactly this 
just drag out select this face and this he hexagon flange face here it is uh, fixed with the surface only we need to add some cocentric relation select the hole and bolt cocentric relation okay that's fine now it's time to add some nuts so go to and see metric and choose nut hexagon nut and uh, here we will choose hexagon flange nut this one also this one i think it's quite better actually we uh, we are looking just drag it <coughs> keep m6 <coughs> schematic select ok put one here actually if you b if we bring the surface cancel it i think we make more than the requirement delete now let's rotate okay choose mat select this circular face and this circular face cocentric relation okay this face and this face okay that's fine and this face this face cocentric relation okay take it out coincident relation now in the same way we have to add all the things rotate component that's fine mat cocentric relation coincident relation okay that's fine now we fixed all the nuts here now here we will make some screw so just go to again and see metric bolts and screw and here we will choose some uh, head screw machine screw machine screw self tapping set screw let's check no not this one machine screw counter song Eighteen points. So this one is he a flat head screw. Now drag it. M four, and keep here length.
क्रॉस टाइप थ्रेड लेंथ की फुल टेन मिलीमीटर स्केमेटिक ओके एंड वी नीड वन मोर ओके चूज मेट सेलेक्ट दिस फेस एंड दिस फेस रिवर्स ओके दैट्स फाइन इट्स फिक्स हियर सेलेक्ट दिस फेस को इंसिडेंट रिलेशन ओके सो द स्क्रू फिक्सड नाउ वी विल मेक सम सॉकेट हेड कैप स्क्रू नाउ वी विल फिक्स सम स्क्रू इन दिस सो लेट्स चेक गो टू बोल्ड एंड हेक्जा हेक्जागोन कैप स्क्रू सॉकेट हेड लेट्स चेक दिस इज सॉकेट हेड स्क्रू नाउ हियर वी विल चूज सॉकेट हेड कैप स्क्रू सो सॉकेट हेड कैप स्क्रू सॉकेट हेड कैप दिस वन इज सफिशेंट फॉर अस सो ड्रैग इट Let's choose M6. Length की फोर्टी मिलीमीटर हेक्सागोन बेटर Thread also let's keep फोर्टी schematic. Okay. Now choose three numbers. Two, three. Okay. Now it's time to add some relation. Make relation co-centric reverse direction. Okay. Just drag it out. Select this face and this face. Choose here distance. Keep thirty millimeter. Okay. <coughs> Actually, we will just give the distance to just. Uh, it will not rotate. Otherwise, it, uh, if we will move, it will create some problem. Actually, it is no need because uh, it's going to rotate in this way. Co-centric relation. That's fine. drag it select this face and this clear okay now again try the back surface and this back surface distance 30 mm okay i am just i i just want to fix this one that's why i am going to give distance otherwise it's no need select this hole and this cap first to make it reverse and distance no need i think co-centric co-centric and uh, we will make it reverse not lock position clear this better i think the co-centric relation is already created no that's fine hole and bolt reverse okay let's drag it select this faces make the gap 30 mm okay 
so this is the our tube welding clamp now here we will fix our tubes to two pipes and uh, we will fix with the help of this uh, screw and we can weld it so it is very simple i hope let's save this one tube welding clamp and uh, tube welding clamp assembly see now you can see here how we will hold the pipe in this clamp and we will weld it here so this is the main purpose for this clamp is to just to hold the pipe and uh, weld it to pipes or tubes i hope you understood so this is the main function and purpose for this clamp you can adjust this screw and uh, fix the uh, pipe so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching